All right, let's try this again. Entertainment news. Paul Rubens, the actor best known for playing the character Pee Wee Herman, has died. He was 70 years old. A statement on Rubens' official Instagram account confirmed his death. It called him a, quote, iconic American actor, comedian, writer, and producer. Rubens died from cancer, which he privately battled for years. The post included a quote from Rubens before his passing. He said, I have loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. Rubens first developed the Pee Wee Herman character in the 1970s. He then got a movie deal in 1985 with Tim Burton as a director and then later a Netflix film in 2016. Great Scott, an iconic 80s film, has been transformed into a brand new musical making its Broadway premiere this week. These are images of the first Broadway show of Back to the Future, the musical. In case you are unfamiliar with the movie plot, <laughs> Marty McFly finds himself transported back to 1955 in a time machine built by the eccentric scientist Doc Brown. And he accidentally changes the course of history. Now he's in a race against time to fix the present, escape the past, and send himself back to the future. Now for now, you gotta get to NYC to see this show, but there are plans for a North American tour starting in June of 2024. Sign me up. The combat boots and dog tags Alan Aldo wore playing the wisecracking surgeon Hawkeye in the beloved television series MASH have sold at auction for $125,000. Now, Aldo held on to those items for more than 40 years after the show ended, but then decided to sell them Friday through Heritage Auctions in Dallas. The money raised will go to his center dedicated to helping scientists and doctors improve their communication. The buyer's name was not released. Alda said he wore the boots and dog tags for the 11 season run of the show about a career, Korean war medical unit. The show's final episode, which aired in 1983 and was written and directed by Alda, was the most watched TV show in U.S. history. Two German farmers are helping families celebrate Disney and its 100th anniversary. The husband and wife team created a corn maze depicting Mickey and Minnie Mouse. The maze is the size of four soccer fields and features various games and quizzes. Planting started in May, working with a team of 22 people, including students, to get more than 360,000 plants into the ground. This is the farming couple's 25th themed maze. Other times they've created a map of Europe and a portrait of Leonardo da Vinci.